Hi, in this video we'll see how to work with the bubble charts. What exactly is a bubble chart? You can see this is nothing but a bubble chart where the circle represents the dimensions, the size represents the measures. So remember two things, the circles these are nothing but the dimensions, the value in the dimensions, the size will represent it, the uh, measures itself. So first of all, I'm working in the workbook named as bubble charts, the same database, Global Superstore 2017. Let us try to understand. These are nothing but named as the order priority. There are high order priority, medium, critical and low. From the chart itself, the bubble chart, you can understand the size of the medium is higher. The order priority for medium is higher. The size is bigger. The reason is because it has got maximum number of orders for this priority itself and the lowest for the low one. The medium are given with the high is given as the medium type of. So these are nothing. The size represents the quantity and the number of circle represents the dimension values itself. Let us try to understand. So I'll show you how to create a bubble chart. Whatever I sell, tell you the definitions and everything, those are mentioned in this captions. So when you download this workbook, you can just go through the captions. There is a link given where you can jump to the website where you'll have the detailed notes, textual notes. So let us see how to create a bubble chart. So first of all, I'll try to click on this show me button. So if I click on this bubble chart that is packed bubbles, it says if you want to create a bubble chart, you should have one dimensions and one measure. So total two things you need to have one or more dimensions, one or two measures. So if I want to select a dimension, I'll select as market first market. The reason is there are very less values in the market and these are the regions basically. And second, I'll press control key and I'll select this sales. Now, if you see, these are the different charts which are selected, but I'm very much interested in this packed bubble or also known as bubble chart. So I'll just click on this bubble chart itself. Now from this chart, you can easily figure out the highest sales done. The highest sales are done in the Asia Pacific, because if you see that is nothing but a value in the dimension that is nothing but given as market in the market. I have how many fields? I'll just click on this five fields. If you see Africa, Asia, Europe, there's a Latam and USCA. These are the five different markets which I have and I want to find out the sales done in each market. So for me, it's very easy to understand that in Asia Pacific is the highest sales done. So what I'm trying to say, there are how many circles, five cycles. These are the values. These are the values in the market dimension, in the market dimension and the size represents the measures. These are the size which represent the measures. So let's see if I want to create one more. So I'll just click on this create bubble chart. Now I want to find out based on the market, how much is my profit? So first I'll select this option as market. Second, I'll press control and I'll select this option as profit. Now I'll go to this show me button and click on this bubble chart itself. Now let us see Europe and Asia. They both have, let's say equal profit. Again, it's difficult to understand because you know, size I cannot see from here. What I can do is I can give some labels to that so that I can easily find out the difference. So for giving the labels sales, you have to pick up and put into the labels. Now let's try to understand the sales done for Asia or you can say the profit done for Asia Pacific is the highest. Yes. So if you see that that's the profit, which is done the highest. So whenever there are two circles of equal size, it is difficult to figure out. Then you can pick up required quantity, required the measures and you can put into the labels part. That is very, very easy here. Let us try one more. So I'll just create a new sheet here. Now this was based on the market. Suppose if I pick up something, let's say category. And if, if I select the option as sales and then I select this bubble chart. So now you can figure out the sales done for the category that is for technology is the highest highest sales I've got from this technology part. Let us see one more. If I select some options where there are lengthy data, for example, if you if you see this, there are hundreds of countries which are given now 165 around that countries. If I select the country and if I press control, select the sales. And then if I select this option as bubble chart. Now sales done in United States is the highest as compared to all the other states all the other countries. It is very difficult to understand what is the value of the small circle which is given. So try avoiding using the dimensions where you have more data. Here if you see here there is more data 165 options. But if I use market I have five regions. If I use category I have three categories furniture office supplies and uh, technology. So try to use those dimensions which has less values as compared to the uh, more values itself right. So that is easy and the best method by which you can work on. 
So I hope you have understood how to work on bubble charts, what is exactly a bubble chart and how do we create a bubble chart. That's all for this video.